Yo, what up? I'm Thomas, and I'm back for a six-month review of DKL non-abrasive grip tape. My first impression was the grip on an old pair of shoes felt amazing. Then about a week later, I waterlogged my board, but I was pleasantly surprised how quickly it dried out, and I kickflipped my first three-step. In order to try it out, I recommend a cheap deck and ordering the grip tape online. Overall, I spent about 30 bucks on this board. I learned some new flip tricks, I skated my slip-ons, and honestly, I keep this board in the back of my car because I still love to skate it. So I stocked up on some more sheets, grabbed a fresh deck from Slappy's Garage, and kept working on my flip tricks. I think that's my favorite part about the non-abrasive grip tape, is how many flicks you can get without ruining your shoes. Last year I spent hundreds of dollars on seven different pairs of skate shoes, but I've been really stoked these two pairs of FPs have lasted the transition from sandpaper to non-abrasive grip tape, and I haven't had to buy a new pair of shoes since then. I will say with the shifting of my front foot, I did see some wear and tear on the non-abrasive grip tape, but it had no effect on my skating. I'm now on my third board and really stoked to the results. In conclusion, if you're a skater looking to save some money on shoes, I absolutely recommend you give this a try.